Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Analog Drift. This is an audio podcast that you can get on Spreaker or your Alexa device. This is also on YouTube right now at Platinum Dragon 7. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I am chilling on my couch because I was watching the Game Awards. That's right. The big game show. Game show. The big presentation about video games that they have every single year uh, where they hand out awards but the most amazing thing about it is there's always a ton of cool reveals so you can go online and you can see who all got major awards and stuff like that so I'm not going to bore you with that but I'm just going to highlight some things that I thought were awesome at the show that they revealed Number one being the Xbox Series X. That is what the next Xbox is called. It's called the Xbox Series X. They showed a picture of the box. They didn't show any of the uh, ports or HDMI cables or anything like that. They did show the controller. Controller has a share button now. Um, but the Xbox basically just looks like a like a box. It is um, square and tall. It kind of looks like an oversized um, Linksys Velop Wi-Fi node. Less like a gaming system. But, I don't know. I guess it would look cool in a home theater setup. That's all I can really think about. But, it's kind of awesome to see them just... Pull it right out at the Game Awards. Like, here's our system. They didn't wait for E3 or anything like that. Just kind of to get ahead of Sony, it seems like. Because they've had a lot of stuff out lately. Little tidbits about the controller, about the system. Leaks of the dev kits. And then Xbox is just like, here's our thing. Maybe there could have been a little bit more pomp and circumstance. But, but uh, I dig it. It's pretty cool. I'm not a hardcore Xbox guy, as some of you may know, but they're doing good things over there. I mean, I really like the way they've pushed crossplay onto Sony, kind of made that happen. Um, the next thing to get crossplay is going to be Mortal Kombat 11. That's kind of cool. There's their uh, crossplay with the K. So you're going to be able to play that. Um, uh, it says PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so no word about Switch or PC compatibility with crossplay there, but that is pretty cool. Uh, the other thing that I liked from the show was, for some reason, I have an obsession with this game called um, Man Eater. It's where you play as a shark. It's kind of like it makes me think of Goat Simulator. Or um, there's like a Hungry Shark game, Hungry Shark World on iPad. And I have it on the Switch. That's pretty fun. It's like that, but in 3D. I think that could be awesome. And um, PlayStation 5 games. They actually talked about PlayStation 5 games. That's a... A thing Godfall has been the first announced PlayStation 5 game and I don't know too much about it other than it kind of looks like God of War but that's cool man it's happening next generation systems are right around the corner and some of these games are gonna be on those systems surprisingly that um, Ghosts of Tsushima is a PlayStation 4 game, but you know it's going to come out on PlayStation 5 as well. So, um, you know what just popped in my head? I was thinking about all the stuff that you buy right now on the current systems. With the Xbox system, they've talked about seamlessly. Your purchases are going to transfer to the new system. And I hope to see Sony do that kind of thing with PlayStation. So thank you guys for listening to me. 
ramble on for about five minutes here and get a few thoughts off my top of my head about the game awards and all these little things I'm excited about. Let me know what you're excited about in the comments below. And you know what to do when you see a cool video on YouTube. Peace.